The reaction of the oil market to preliminary data on inflation in Europe was quite strong. The quotes suffered heavy losses but then quickly recovered and returned to the area of $95 per barrel. Notably, consumer price growth in the 19 countries sharing the euro accelerated to 10.7% in October. In fact, the situation in the energy market has not changed. Moreover, it's likely to remain so until the Fed announces its latest policy decision following the meeting to be held tomorrow. If the US Central Bank decides to temper the pace of coming interest rate hikes, oil prices will have a chance of rising up to $100 per barrel and above. Brand crude oil futures closed more than 2.5% lower on a Monday. As a result, the asset moved into oversold territory, which in turn caused a technical output pullback in the market. Interestingly, the area of 92 was the low of the downside momentum. Earlier, this level acted as a support. Gold prices have been trading around $1,640 per ounce since the end of last week. Like many other instruments, the yellow metal is drifting in anticipation of tomorrow's meeting of the Federal Open Market Committee, which may lead to its local rally. However, it's likely to be short-lived as further interest rate hikes by the Fed and other major central banks are still exerting pressure on the asset. So the medium and the long-term outlooks for gold remain gloomy. The only question is whether the metal will fall below $1,600 in November or in December. Meanwhile, the Russian currency has been moving in the range of 61 to 62 rubles per dollar for half a month. At the same time, market volatility has noticeably decreased in the recent days, with no sharp swings beyond these boundaries. Thus, the ruble continues to trade within the range relevant since the start of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. Notably, when volatility eases, the market sees dramatic shifts after a while. The past two or even three months can be characterized by the ruble's weakness, followed by a gradual return to the area of 60 rubles per dollar. Apparently, this scenario may well repeat itself in this week. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals and see you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.